Good gosh, it's a great morning everybody. We are out here on the North Shore again, Lake Superior, and we are going to go catch some Lakers this morning. See, there is very small northwest wind, so conditions are very good, and we're going out with a family friend in a tiny little boat, so good conditions, we're not going to drown and apparently they're catching fish like crazy but he has a different method of catching them so we're gonna go find out how he's doing it and uh, learn something new today so we will see you out there In the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through. Into the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true, baby let the light shine through, if you believe it's true, baby won't you let the light shine through. Well, that video really goes to show that you really don't need some big setup big expensive setup with all a bunch of expensive poles to go out there and catch lake trout um, we were fishing in 169 feet of water the entire time with those weird hand over hand things that I have never fished with something like that before in my life and evidently that's a old school way of catching lake trout out there and the advantage of using those is you get a better hook set out of it 
because you're don't have any flex in a rod that you would like if you were fishing with a fishing rod so definitely an interesting way of fishing and it was very effective now I don't know that I would ever really use it on my own when I go back out there later this fall I'll probably just use a fishing pole because you know that's what I got but you know lots of different methods of taking those fish out there and they're not very hard to catch we're in a 16 foot open hauled boat so it was easily effective but one thing that I talked to the owner of that boat in which didn't want to be any part of this video that's why I didn't take too much time to talk or videotape him catching fish or anything like that he told me that you definitely have to watch the weather and make sure that there isn't going to be any big forecast coming in to because you know having a smaller boat like that you would get in danger if you got stuck in like seven foot waves so but all in all very successful trip the fish are biting like crazy and the guy that took us out said that they'll be biting like crazy just like that until the end of September so I will definitely be out there again in my boat and I'll have a lot more of a chance to explain exactly what I did and how to catch them and so should be a better next video and I hope that this video serves as a as a reminder that you really don't need a bunch of expensive stuff to go out there and catch fish and have fun so until next time